Welcome to this video on subcostal views. The subcostal area is located inferior to the xiphoid process, as shown. There are two views we will obtain in the subcostal area, the subcostal four-chamber view and the inferior vena cava or the IVC. To obtain the subcostal four-chamber view, holding the probe in a different configuration improves image acquisition. Hold the probe so that your hand is mounted on the probe. The tail of the probe will be in your palm as shown. Use your index finger to stabilize the tip of the probe. Place the probe in the subcostal area as shown. Have the marker oriented towards the left or 3 o'clock. Fan the probe cranially until you see an image of the heart. You may need to use fine fanning or rocking movements. You may also need to depress the skin by applying gentle pressure on the probe, as shown. A subcostal four-chamber view is shown in the video. This homogeneous echotexture is the liver. Since this is a vascular organ, the heart is visualized through the liver well. The two structures closest to the liver are the right heart structures, the right ventricle, and the right atrium. The tricuspid valve can be seen between the right atrium and ventricle. The left ventricle is adjacent to the right ventricle, with the interventricular septum in between. The left atrium is next to the right atrium. The mitral valve can be seen between the left atrium and ventricle. This is a good view to perform during a cardiac arrest, as is not in the way of chest compressions. The other view in this subcostal area is the IVC. To obtain a view of the IVC, rotate the probe 90 degrees counterclockwise so that the probe marker is oriented at the 12 o'clock position. Fanning the probe like this may help visualize the IVC. This is a view of the IVC. The IVC is seen continuous with the right atrium. The hepatic vein can be seen draining through the liver into the IVC. The IVC is an important view to measure collapsibility or distensibility of the IVC while evaluating preload and fluid responsiveness. Remember that the IVC will be found slightly to the right in the subcostal area and the aorta is in close proximity to the left. It is important to differentiate between the aorta and the IVC since they are in such close proximity. It is better to visualize both than to confuse one with the other. Visualize the IVC and sweep the probe slightly to the left. You should see the aorta. Notice the similar appearance of both blood vessels. If you look closely, the aorta is pulsatile and not continuous with the right atrium. There also is an hepatic vein draining into the vessel. Those are the subcostal views. Thanks for watching.